I feel a great responsibility to the projects I do. I'm in service of those projects. They're not mine. Once they begin, they are something else that I'm working for. And I have to serve them diligently and rigorously, or they won't get done. And they won't get done as well as they could get done. And even when I've pushed myself as far as possible and, you know, have done everything that I physically can do to get them done, they're still not as far as they could have gone. There's a place you can get to, I think, after many, many years of making things that I hope I get to one day, where you're so efficient and economical in the period of time that you're working that you actually don't have to work that hard. The stage I'm at, I gotta work really hard to make good work. Just gotta keep going, you know, and, uh, and hope that you'll be allowed to keep going. Hope that your physical vessel is in shape enough to keep you going. Hope that your, um, you know, your mental state is good enough to keep you going. You gotta like take care of yourself so you can keep it up. I mean, the work I do is enormous amounts of travel and physical exertion, essentially. And uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta like take care of yourself. If you're really truly in service of your projects, like you can't be a drug addict because you can't make your work. You know, you can't, you can't do things that you might want to do because you won't get your work done. You can't go out all night. You can't... Rigor means, like, committing to something and, and being honest about how you get the best out of yourself. Not working is bad for creative people. Creativity is the movement from one place to another. I think a lot of people would argue this, but I really feel that creativity is transformation. Doing the dishes is creative. You take a big pile of dirty plates and you, you create a transformation to clean plates. That's a creative act. And that feeling occurs in that space in the same way as making a painting if you allow yourself that. And I think any sort of trans, transformation in your life, in your day, is part of your creative life. It's not separate from you. Your life is your work. And I think the more little beats that you find that feeling in, the more comfortable you get with that feeling and the more you recognize how to get that feeling. Creativity has become this like coveted club. You know, they're creative, they're not. This, this idea that creativity is governed by visual artists or, or musicians, I don't know. I think that's a terrible thing. I think, that, I think that creativity is something that we all get. And we all get to play in. Every single person in the world gets to play in that space. And I think that the less we think about the delineation between creative people and non-creative people, the, the better our world might be. Creativity is not bound by the visual and, you know, auditory arts. It's something else. It's a feeling that occurs, I think, when there's a transformation. When something starts one way and becomes something else. Yeah, I think that's what creativity is.